The core is about building the future. The core is about taking these very young learners, cadets, and putting them in a position where they're going to be leaders. When you establish yourself as a leader, you're always having people who rely on you. And even if you don't realize it, people are always looking towards you when you're in that position. We start out by following. Then it's, if you can follow, then you can teach. And if you can teach, then you should be able to coach. And then once you can coach, you can finally mentor. You gotta make sure that you're right, right uniform, right time, and you know the proper you know, procedures for everything before you can teach it. Because if you're wrong, then you're teaching them wrong. It forces you into situations where you have to work with people. Whether you kind of like it or not, you're going to learn how to work with people. It's important to be trained as a leader because if you can lead a whole group of people to accomplish one goal, then you can pretty much accomplish anything that you set your mind to. If you think about Tarleton State University and, and the history of our, our institution, our Corps of Cadets program goes back a long way. So the Corps actually originated in 1917 here at Tarleton. It, uh, had, it was phased out in 1954, but then it came back in 2016. And so the Corps of Cadets represents uh, a student population that is committed to military service or at least a military environment where they can prosper and progress. Coming back here and right now, we get to set the new standard. We get to make new traditions. We do football games, we do basketball games, soccer games, we do all the homecoming events. It's part of our DNA. I often tell our Corps of Cadets, you're the pride of this institution because so many of you will, will go on and serve. And I think there's, there's no greater calling than to serve your country. I think the Corps is gonna be huge in 10 years. Our goal moving forward is to become a senior military college. There's only six senior military colleges and to be able to rise to the level and become the seventh would be uh, a very significant moment for the university. Trying to achieve that status means that it's important for the university to support us and put us on a pathway to achieve it. Having that presence on campus and having more and more people that are part of an organization and I think it's going to make a great name for us. When I think of what the other students think of the Corps of Cadets, they probably look over and they're like, wow, they're working out in the dark. That's pretty crazy. When you put on a uniform every day, when I have to put my hair up every day, when I'm walking through campus and everyone knows that I'm representing something bigger than myself, whether it's the Corps or the Army when we're wearing our OCPs, it kind of, you have to stand up to that standard. Hey, I want to be a part of that. I, I think they're really devoted and motivated and they're setting themselves up for success later in life. We are a big family, like no matter what happens, somebody's gonna have your back at all times. Texans lead the way. They're leading the way by example. They're leading the way uh, through their service and their selfless service to their communities and to the institution. Not only are we Texans, but we will always be first. We will always be top dog. We will always peak Tarleton to its peak. And we are Texan Battalion. And so our goal is to make sure that Texans and Tarleton students are always number one and in everyone's eyes that we are best Texans around. Texans lead the way!